Hi everyone in YouTube land. This is my first video in sign language. No, it's not ASL. And one reason why is I'm talking in English while I'm signing. ASL and English are separate languages. Can't I can't sign ASL and talk in English at the same time. Can't. So I'm signing kind of an English sign. But I'm doing this because I really want to start making more of my videos more accessible to people who are hard of hearing and deaf. Now, I waited a long time one reason why is I've had, I have had, have had, I have had a lot of, of health problems and tired, very busy, doing lots and lots and lots of things. And I've been continually learning sign. Most, mostly vocabulary, words, and etc. And I really wanted to, to try to learn more before starting to make videos and sign. So, this video is something that I have learned from my experience of having really bad CI. CI is a vision problem. The eyes don't work together like a team because of a problem. I think it's in the brain. Brain. And the brain controls the eyes. When the eyes do not work as a team, when you're trying to read and watch signing and movies and et cetera and whatever, it really creates a lot of problems like headache and blurred vision and double, I don't know if I'm signing it correctly, double vision and lots of other problems too. Now I'm losing my train of thought again because I just found out I have a learning disability. I forget things easily. I have a problem with memory. Memory. So be patient with me. Um, oh, okay. I found out sign language interpreting for deaf and hard of hearing people is a right. Deaf and hard of hearing people have a right to have a sign language interpreter in a law. But Braille is not a right. Not. And that I really can't understand. I'm not saying that deaf and hard of hearing people should not have interpreters as a right. But I can't understand why Braille is not a legal right. I just found out it's okay legally in a letter that I just now today got in the mail from a federal agency that it's okay to be to be forced to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for Braille. 
they say that's okay but I wonder if it's okay legally for a deaf or hard of hearing person to have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for an interpreter and a letter said that the organization that I had filed a complaint against they were they were trying other options first before considering Braille now my question if that's true then can that same organization allow for deaf and hard of hearing people to have to wait and wait and wait and wait for an interpreter legally I don't understand that and what happened because of my eyes I what was happening with my vision I learned literary lit lit or er, er, e, braille because you can read with the eyes shut shut <laughs> but so many different places refused 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 again and again and again and this one organization that I complained about wait and wait and wait and wait and wait how is that legal and why the deaf and hard of hearing people have so many rights for an interpreter and captions but people with vision problems do not have a right to braille have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.